forget it. Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, it's, it's been a few years, but I'm back at uh, Rushing River um, Provincial Park in Ontario. Uh, you can sort of blame uh, COVID, you can blame uh, a lot of things, really. Um, but uh, I'm back and uh, I, uh, it's, you know, middle of summer. I uh, wanted to see what it's like uh, in summertime instead of wintertime. So yeah, let's go. see uh, I am on uh, the bridge basically overlooking the, uh, the water and uh, it's uh, about as nice as I remember back in February of 2020 um, just a lot warmer and uh, a lot greener um, a, lot, you know, a lot of these trees didn't have any leaves on them at the time go figure you know February um, so yeah um, actually, what I'm also experimenting with is uh, doing some long-ish exposures, about two seconds with a, a 10-stop ND filter on, just to, you know, get some smooth water and such, because, what can I say, I like smooth. Smooth is good. Um, although I have also been taking shots uh, that uh, are shorter exposures, about 1 30th of a second. Um, and uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna essentially explore all along down here. Uh, you know, spot maybe there, maybe over there, maybe the picnic table, or maybe way up ahead there. I'll try not to take the, uh, the pizza floaty down there this time since I couldn't blow it up. And it'd be a rough ride, I, I can say that. I will say in that last shot, I, you know, last bit of video, I, I was actually using the ND filter right on there, and camera compensated, it's, you know, and, and now I've got it not on there, and you know, just put it on there, et voila. So of course the, the last time I was here, um, there was like waist deep snow and uh, I wasn't sure where I was walking. I was pretty sure I was walking on paths in some spots, but not entirely. Um, of course at this point, I, I still wouldn't step in the water because I, I know me, I'd slip and fall and my wife would kill me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this sign applies now. Back in February 2020, no, no. Yeah, sure it was fast water, but who swims in cold, fast water? Certainly not me. side. I think there's some good compositions on that side as well from what I remember from last time. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it a shot.
will say that uh, I've been using both the tent stop ND filter and the polarizing filter. Polarizing filter, I mean, does have an effect, but honestly, uh, since I'm gonna carry my entire, you know, um, house worth of photography gear with me, it's not really worth it, so I just dropped it back in the, uh, the car. Still got the, N the 10 stop ND, because uh, I, I do plan on going to the bottom of the falls to um, you know, take some long exposure from there. So, yeah. This isn't a precarious position at all. Just sort of laying on this rock with my tripod. Gingerly laying on this rock. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I, I could have lunch at that picnic table. It's, it's like that, that restaurant in the Philippines where all the, uh, the water from a waterfall flows through it. And, I walk through and, and maybe slip in the water and fall. No, we don't need that. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe I'll just have my lunch in the car. That'd be much safer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also have to remember that we're, we're next to a big highway. Well, not, not the biggest highway, but uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, pretty close to it. Um, which makes it handy to get here, but uh, noisy. But then again, you know, the further up the falls you are, the less you hear it, because, you know, falls being noisy and such. So yeah. As you can see, I'm going through a for a, uh, a vertical uh, shot, uh, just because I want to get uh, from uh, you know, the, the bottom of the falls there-ish to the trees up in the distance there. And uh, I think maybe I'll throw on a 10-stop ND filter as well to uh, smooth out the water, because, hey, smooth is good. Everybody loves smooth. You know, yeah. precarious at all. Just nearly, you know, tripped and fell 80 million times. Uh. Yeah, cottage country is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I, I'd retire here. Not Florida. Florida is full of weirdos. I mean, I'm a weirdo, but I, I prefer to be in, you know, with nice weirdos, not weird weirdos.
I suppose for uh, those not familiar with the, the uh, Lake of the Woods area, uh, well, it's, it's a bunch of lakes. Go figure. Um, and in the woods. And uh, this is sort of the, uh, I'll say the sort of central western side of the Canadian Shield, which, you know, extends into places like Minnesota, Wisconsin, like parts of Michigan, um, back up into Ontario, and uh, touches part of like the eastern edge of, uh, of Manitoba. Uh, Whiteshell uh, Provincial Park, you know, in that area, uh, in Manitoba, all part of this. Um, yeah.